Hi, this is a short video showing the navigation and examples of common changes to the parameters to the ESM variable speed drive. The drive is easy and intuitive to navigate using three buttons on the HMI. To set the required value, press the middle button to turn the unit on from standby. You can then adjust the required value by using the increase and decrease buttons. The display will then flash three times, confirming the change. When a drop in pressure is detected, the pump will start running automatically. The unit is set to a constant pressure, so will run to meet and maintain the set required value. The status indicator will turn green when the pump is running, and the LED speed bar indicates the pump's current running speed. To unlock the device, allowing changes to the unit parameters, Hold the middle button down for 3 seconds. You will then be taken to parameter 20. Press the middle button to confirm. Then use the increase and decrease buttons to enter the code 066. In parameter 4, you can set the pump to automatically restart after a power cut. Use the increase and decrease buttons to toggle auto start mode on or off. In the event of a fault, such as dry running, an error code will appear on the screen. The status indicator will also change from solid green to red. All unit error codes can be found in the included IOM manual. Once the error is cleared, the pump will start up again automatically. The ESM drive stores the last four occurring errors. The log of the most recent error can be found at parameter 9. The screen will then cycle the error code along with the hour, the day and the week in which the error occurred. The second, third and fourth errors are stored in parameter 10, 11 and 12. The mode of the ESM drive can be changed in parameter 25. Hydrovar controller mode for single pump use. Multiple pump mode in serial cascade. Multiple pump mode in synchronous cascade. And actuator mode when using an external 0 to 10 volt signal. When running the device in multiple pump mode, you will need to assign each pump an individual address. To do this, navigate to parameter 55. You can then change the address of the device between 1, 2 and 3. You need to carry out the same process on all other drives on the twin or three pump set. Each pump will need to have a unique address. You can also control the ESM drives through BMS using Modbus or BACnet protocols. To change the protocol on which the pump outputs, 
head over to parameter 50. You can then toggle between Modbus or BACnet protocols. To confirm the choice, press down the middle button for 3 seconds. You can change how the pump reacts when a lack of water is detected in parameter 48. Options available include putting the pump into error mode, preventing the unit from running. This is the default setting protecting the pump from dry running. Disabling the pump from reacting when detecting a lack of water. And alarm, where the error code and status warns of dry running, but the pump continues to run. In parameter 41, you can change the displayed unit of pressure measurement between bar and PSI.